majority of the people find science as intimidating and difficult to understand and the fellows today have gone to lengths to try and explain their work in the simplest terms possible. We have been having the outcry that at some time we'll run out of the fossil energy fuels. That means we can have a solar energy, pack it in batteries like this. If they are big enough, then we can store enough energy for seasonal storage. So uh, my research is in the area of uh, chemical energy st storage and conversion. So what we do basically is we try to see that we, how can we convert, for example, solar energy or wind energy, especially in situations where we have generated excess of it into other forms of energy. So we specifically work on what we call power to gas, where we use renewable energy to break water, for example, and create hydrogen, which we can then store and use in devices that we call fuel cells, or we can use this hydrogen in the chemical industry for chemical transformations. I've been doing HIV research for the past uh, close to 12 years, and my passion has been to use uh, routinely collected data or large data to answer questions that are pertinent to Africa in terms of reducing the HIV burden. I, I'm in the second cohort of the NERF Fellows, 2017-2019. Uh, uh, one of the benefits that uh, this fellowship gives you is the massive publicity that you get, not only across the continent, but also internationally. In terms of my next Einstein Fellowship, one of the things that I'm focusing on doing is again to harness the large data sets that we have at the IDI, close to 300,000 records, repeated data, and that's a big amount of data. I want to use methods that can identify hotspots where men who are really high risk are, where men who have high viremia are residing, and then use these methods to layer on digital health data. But we also want to take it further because I believe that working with the younger generation, encouraging them in STEM at a very young, very early age is one way to increase uh, the number of people working in STEM. So we have a forum that is going to really tackle management. How do you cope as a woman in STEM? We believe that these innovations can create the impact that will drive Africa forward, that will develop, drive our individual countries forward.